Oh no, no, they're too short. Oh god. Okay, okay, that looks pretty good. Hello there. It is a super gloomy and rainy day. That's kind of why, I mean, I'm in a different location in my apartment, but that's kind of why the lighting is a little weird. It's also the start of a three day weekend, which is super exciting. My boyfriend is out of town for work, so I have the place to myself for a couple of days. And I'm thankful for that because even though I love spending time with my partner, I also love getting to recuperate and spend time alone. So I did that last night. I wasn't feeling very good. Actually, I kind of felt like awful. I had like a backache and a headache and I had cramps. And so I was really thankful to just come home, throw on sweatpants, I think I was in bed at like 8 o'clock, showered, took my makeup off. I did like a little extra skincare routine and then I actually just sat in bed and I took a couple of Skillshare classes. A Skillshare subscription was a Christmas gift that I got from my boyfriend and I've been super excited to sit down and use it but recovering from the holidays has been an ongoing process. Um, I feel like I've actually tried to vlog a few times and it just, I don't know. I always end up rambling for way too long and I, I don't want to do that in vlogs. I actually want to show you guys my process. So that's what I'm hoping to do this weekend. This is like the fifth attempt, so hoping it's a good one. But it was really helpful. I took two Skillshare classes. One was on developing a business plan, and I'll have the name of the class and the instructor um, down below in case you're interested, but it was really helpful just to brainstorm about the business that I want to create. I felt like it brought a lot of clarity. And then the other Skillshare class that I took was one on Instagram and how to kind of show your process on Instagram, especially if you're a creative. And I found that one super helpful too, and I want to talk about it a little bit later in the vlog what I plan to do with that knowledge that I acquired from from those classes. Actually, if you're interested in the business plan side of it, uh, I could make that probably a whole separate video. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know and I can address that in the future. But right now, I'm gonna eat my lunch. I got this awesome salad. I'm so excited to eat it. I have my LaCroix and I'm just gonna like chill and watch some TV for a little bit before I get into the rest of the things that I have planned. Okay, we're back. It's a little while later. I had mentioned earlier that I had taken a Skillshare course on how to show your creative process on Instagram, something like that. Again, title and uh, the instructors will be down below. Um, but I was taking notes on that and I kind of translated my notes into something I would like to try potentially in the month of February. Um, so basically I took all the recommendations that they gave in the Skillshare course and I turned them into like very simple prompts. And I kind of found that there was about 20 prompts. I might try and expand that so that I can fill the entire month of February. A little ambitious, I know. Um, but basically I created like a content calendar. Oh gosh, this is gonna be so hard to see. Um, this is the Notability app, by the way, on, I on the iPad. I used to use this all the time in college when I would take notes. Haven't revisited it in a while and they've added some updates. Like Now you can basically do bullet journaling pages and that's what I did for this calendar. So 29 days in February, um, I'm a few prompts short, like I said, I only have 20 prompts, but I think this is a really good opportunity for me to officially breathe some fresh air into my Instagram. When I looked at my Instagram analytics last, I got about 10,000 likes on my posts last year on Instagram. Not bad, um, pretty good, but my net growth for followers was only 28. So, and this is something I've been noticing on Instagram for a long time, 
it feels like I gain a follower, lose a follower, gain a follower, lose a follower, gain a follower, lose two followers. And so that long-term projected growth, is it's just not there. I just like, there's certain things with Instagram in particular that have been so frustrating for me. Like for instance, I really want to build an art community on there and I want to share your guys' artwork. But for the life of me, I cannot figure out how to get access to the feature that lets me share posts to my story. I've looked into every solution on the back end, logged out, uninstalled, reinstalled, updated. It's like, it's just not there. <laughs> and there's just certain things like that. Like I can't fully use Instagram to its full potential. And I think for a long time I was using that as my logic for like, that's why I'm stuck on Instagram. That's why I'm not happy with my Instagram. That's why I'm not growing on Instagram is because I don't have these features. And I'm kind of trying to reframe it as like, okay, even if you don't have those features, like how can we breathe some new life into Instagram? And listening to that Skillshare course, hearing their advice was really helpful. And I think having this kind of daily post challenge for the month of February is going to be that because it's kind of tying in with the business plan that I created from the other Skillshare course. I am kind of looking at certain things that I really want to promote and ideas that I want to be really central in my social media across all of those platforms. So basically if I end up doing this and I think I will, um, Fingers crossed for February. <laughs> I'll share this on social media. So if you guys like want to join in, um, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to tweak a few things here and there. Maybe schedule some days that are like intentional breaks because posting every single day might be a little intense. But the idea is I will kind of restart my Instagram with some content I'm really proud of, some behind the scenes content, um, showing more of me and my life and who I am, because that is a really important part of my social media content and I want to put it out there more. Honestly, the recovery from the holidays is so real. I have not updated this calendar since the beginning of December, like the Christmas. I don't, I don't even know what to say about this. I definitely have to do some organization, um, but I was writing down some video ideas that I'm either in the process of working on or want to work on in the very, very near future. Um, I had mentioned the 2020 business plan as a possible video idea. The Holbein gouache review is one I already have the footage of me making the art. I just have to kind of compile my thoughts on the review and uh, record that part. Same goes for this one brush, one layer challenge. Um, I already have the art for that too and the, and the footage of that. So I just kind of have to like do an intro and a voiceover for that. The Cricut Easy Press was actually a Christmas gift, so I have not really had a chance to use that yet because things have been so crazy. Um, but I am so excited to get into heat pressing my own things. Uh, that means I can make tote bags and pencil pouches and all sorts of fun stuff. So I definitely will be making videos about that. Um, yeah, so I just have a couple of other ideas in the works, but I realized I never showed you guys this which was a gift from a subscriber actually she's one of my longtime subscribers she's really sweet and she hand makes her own watercolors so I just want to show you this her name's Lisa I'll have her Etsy shop link down below and one of the colors in here is named Helios which is the name of one of my characters so I thought that was super cool um, so yeah these are the colors I haven't obviously opened them yet because I want to um, probably do a video on these and just kind of show the process of using them. These are some really awesome colors and I cannot wait. So thank you Lisa so much. These are so cute. I want to like wrap it back up so that it looks cute for the video um, but she's amazing you guys. You've probably seen her like comment on videos and like comment on my Instagram and stuff. She's 
awesome. Um, and again, I'll have her Etsy shop linked down below so you guys can go check out her handmade watercolors. So I'm just going to be tidying up the apartment the rest of the day and none of that I feel is going to be particularly interesting for you to watch. Honestly, part of me just wants to like take off all my makeup and watch Disney movies all day while I do that. So I don't want to really be thinking about if I'm vlogging, if I'm getting a good shot or anything like that. But um, I am taking a little bit of a different approach to editing this vlog. And I just want you guys to be aware if you like this style better, uh, let me know. What I'm doing is I'm editing the vlog as I go. So I'll film a couple clips, import those, kind of look at them, edit them, and that way I just have a feel of the vlog as I go. What happens a lot of the time is I film really long clips and I don't ever really think about what I've already filmed and showed. So I end up repeating myself a lot and I end up telling rather than showing. So I'm trying to do some different things and I'm trying to give you guys much more of an honest look behind the process of like trying to build a creative business and um, being a creative and like having burnout or kind of struggling with different things artistically. So I think that's something um, hopefully I'm coming across in the vlogs as you know really representing that process and if you guys like the new editing or if you like me talking about those types of things, um, just let me know so that I keep doing it. So it's been a pretty quiet morning for the most part. I woke up a little while ago, the neighbor's dog was going bonkers for a minute, <laughs> finally kind of settled down. I think my game plan is to record some voiceovers and then I actually have to go pick up my boyfriend from the airport. So that will kind of disrupt things. Um, in terms of the order I have to do them, obviously, he's, I'm excited he's back in town. Um, but I usually don't record voiceovers when he's home, so I want to get that done first. And then I have some plans to work on some buttons and sticker sheets. Uh, my friend orders a lot of the positive affirmation products that I make. Uh, she works in the mental health industry too, so she buys those a lot and she requested that I make her some more um, and so I'm gonna do that today as well. My experiment with the Easy Press, honestly it was the same thing last year when I got the Cricut um, cutting machine. It, it took me a while to like jump the gun and actually use it and I know that sounds odd and it's actually very unlike me Usually when I get something new, I want to rip it out of the box and try it right away. <laughs> With these products, there was just this like aversion and fear that kind of took over for a little while before I had a moment where I was like, okay, I'm ready. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to use this product now. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, I'm hopeful that I will use it soon. And I think once I do the initial project with it, I will feel just a lot more confident and I can explore some of the projects that I want to make. It's not going to be one of those things that I'll like just master right away. I'll probably have to like perfect one item 
write those steps down and then have to do kind of the complete process from the beginning for a different item. Uh, if you know anyone who has a heat press, let me know. I would love to kind of just pick their brain about their experience. I just found the back of one of my earrings in the carpet. How rare is that? Like to find that. Usually I lose those things and I never see them again. Look. That's got to be like a sign of good luck or something. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I'm going to finish drinking my coffee and uh, record some voiceovers now that the rest of the apartment is quiet. So you guys know, Wash is something new that I have been experimenting with recently in my artwork. Okay, I just went down to check the mail, and I'm so excited for this package. So I ordered this from um, a site. It's actually from a family I've been following on Instagram for a long time. They are like super big um, disability advocates, and they're so, so sweet, and they launched this clothing line, I guess, but they launched these sweatshirts. This was their Valentine's exclusive one, and it's so cute. It says, you are loved. I think that's the name of the company. Uh, a wish to wear. That's the name of the brand. I'll have them linked down below. It's a good cause, good family, um, and it's so cute. <laughs> I feel like it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Oh my God, it's so soft on the inside too. Oh. I'm so excited. I'm gonna wear this because it's actually kind of cold in our apartment right now. I feel very happy and very warm. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys this because I love it. And it just came in the mail, so go support cool businesses. Hello, it's Monday. <laughs> I did not vlog at all yesterday or the day before because it was just, it was a long weekend and I think I am just continuously learning the same lesson over and over again where when I set goals to be really, really productive and I don't meet those goals, it doesn't mean I'm not productive. It means I need to take that time as downtime. Um, and that's what I did. So Saturday and Sunday were super chill. And today was more productive. I'll kind of share with you the things that I got done um, but it was a little bit frustrating too, so <laughs> I'll get into that. Um, basically, my goal for today was to finally try out my Easy Press that I got for Christmas. I've been excited slash nervous about it. You guys know that story. But I finally created a design that I'm super, super happy with. It's this Armed and Dangerous design. It's really cute. I like it a lot. And I designed it, put that into design space, sent it over to the Cricut, got it cut out, got it weeded. It looks super nice and super awesome. I go to plug in the Easy Press. It doesn't turn on. <laughs> So I start troubleshooting, I go to customer support, I'm waiting for customer support to get back to me for a while, I end up getting a ticket created and I send them a video of me trying to turn it on and it not turning on, I'm sending that to them, so I'm basically waiting for them to send me a replacement, which I'm having a moment where I'm kicking myself because I have had this machine in my workspace since the end of December and haven't touched it and haven't even like bothered to turn it on and register it to see if the thing works. And now that I'm like finally ready to use it, it doesn't work and I have to wait. <laughs> and so um, that's kind of just a lesson to myself of like getting the setup part out of the way early on so that I'm not dealing with this kind of stuff in the future. But oh boy, I'm super happy with the way that the design looks. Um, I will show you kind of what it will look like on the products, but they obviously are not pressed on yet. So I have three different products that I'm kind of experimenting with right now. Uh, the first one is this coaster. It's a four by four inch coaster. This is what it looks like with the design on. It still has the carrier sheet because it's not pressed on there yet, but that's what the placement will look like um, 
And what it also shows me is that I can shrink this design down pretty small and the quality stays the same. So that's really awesome. It makes me feel like I put in the right amount of time into the design phase of things. I also have these zipper pouches. I think these will make awesome pencil cases or makeup bags. Um, I think these are super cute and you really get to just see the detail nicely on the pencil pouches. This is the product I had this design in mind for when I designed it because it has that horizontal look to it. Doesn't super fit with the square design um, but I just want to experiment with pressing on these coasters because they're an interesting material. The last one is this tote bag. You can see the design on here is much larger. Um, but to be completely honest with you, I'm not super happy with the quality, size, or color, or really anything about these tote bags. Got them on Amazon. They're smaller than I wanted. They're kind of this much more burlapy looking color. <laughs> um, and they have a lot more texture. So um, not sure. If I would repurchase these again, I would likely kind of shop around, but that is what the uh, design looks like. And I'm using the Sizer Heat Transfer Easy Weed Vinyl. Um, this is vinyl. I picked it up at Michael's. The other thing that I did, um, I had designed this somewhat recently and had wanted to turn it into a sticker, potentially turn it into a vinyl design as well but I want to get a little bit more comfortable with final designs before I kind of go into colors and multiple layers. So um, this was a design that I came up with. I feel like it's kind of perfect for Valentine's Day and I turned these into die cut stickers, which I don't really offer on my shop right now or I haven't offered them in a while. So I just thought that would be kind of a nice little shop update. I also uh, reprinted some of these Stick It To Me Valentine's sticker sheets. I just wanted to make sure that they were the most current size, the 4 by 6 inch sheets. I also added my name at the bottom of them. I'm trying to do that more with all my sticker sheets just to have consistent branding. So I printed out some more of these for a shop update and then I also turned the candy hearts into die cut stickers as well and these will probably just be more like freebies so that's the size and there's a whole bunch of like different designs so yeah that's what I did slightly productive slightly frustrating I am super bummed about the heat press um, because I'm probably gonna have to wait a while before they send me the replacement I'm gonna wrap up the vlog I'm pretty much done with the long weekend. It's just going to be getting ready to go back to work tomorrow. And I want to have this vlog uploaded this week so that I have a video go up this week and I can edit some other videos to go up over the next couple of weeks. So finishing off this vlog will kind of be one final productive thing checked off of my to-do list. I hope you liked this vlog. I hope you liked this style of vlog. Um, like I said, I've tried to do some changes where I'm doing less telling more showing so hopefully you got that out of this experience and hopefully you got to see just more of a genuine look behind the scenes of what i do or what i'm trying to do thank you for watching this vlog uh and i will see you guys on the internet bye